How's everyone doing? Hope you guys are doing well. In one of my previous videos, it was, um, Do You Like Yourself? I believe is what it was called. I started the video talking about how that week that I was going through when I shot the video was pretty rough for me. It was a pretty challenging week. And one of my, the hardest points to talk about in that video was the realization I came to, you know, coming to terms with the fact that the reason why that week was so challenging for the most part was simply because of me. It was my fault that that week was so hard. The reason why, like I think I said in the video, was because I procrastinated on a lot of things. You know, I'm in college right now, so I've got a lot of different assignments and homework and big tests to study for and papers to write and all that stuff. And I kept, you know, procrastinating and procrastinating and procrastinating on things all week until just like, you know, just like how it always ends up with procrastination. I had just a whole pile of things to do. And I was stressing out like crazy. And I felt like I was getting, you know, pulled in every single direction and working on multiple things at once. And I never felt like I could really focus on one thing the whole week. So I was a mess. And I probably seemed a little down in the video because it was, it was not a fun week. But it was my fault because I procrastinated a lot. So after that week, I was trying to, to figure out, you know, I, I went online and tried to find something, some better alternative to procrastination, right? Because the way procrastination works, it feels good in the moment, and then, you know, you're screwing yourself uh, for the future. And I stumbled across this article about something called the Pomodoro Technique, and it's a method of studying or doing work or focusing on a task in general that's supposed to boost productivity, boost efficiency while you're working. It's pretty simple how it works, so I'll, I'll quickly break it down for you guys. The Pomodoro Technique, how it works, is you simply get uh, like a physical timer, if you have like a kitchen timer or something, or you, like how, how I use on my phone here. I can't show you guys because I'm filming on my phone, but what I would do is I would set a timer, like a time limit on my phone using the clock app. So you go to your timer, scroll and find, we'll say 20 minutes. So you set a time limit for 20 minutes, you put that aside and you say, okay, you tell yourself for the next 20 minutes, all I'm going to do is focus on this one task in front of me. Whether it's homework, you know, you're writing an essay or something, you're doing your taxes, you're writing, you know, an article or an email or uh, your book or something, whatever it is, I'm going to focus on this task in front of me for the next 20 minutes and not do anything else. I'm going to put my distractions aside. You know, I'm going to silence my phone, silence all my devices, not going to be texting friends, not going to be, you know, surfing the web on social media, none of that. For 20 minutes, I'm going to focus and do nothing else. Once the timer goes off, I'll give myself, say, a five minute break. So you time yourself for five minutes, do whatever you want, you know, text friends, go on social media. I'd recommend getting up and kind of like stretching and, you know, shaking, you know, your legs, your arms a bit, you know, get the blood flowing. And then set another timer, 20 minutes again, go back at it. Once that's done, take another five minute break and keep going back at it until the task is completely done. And then you can walk away from it. And this, I've seen the results in this already. I've already boosted my productivity and efficiency levels, you know, they're through the roof since I started this. It's so simple. And the thing that was always killing me was my mentality. So I would sit down to do homework or an essay and I would say, you know, I'm all pumped up and motivated and I'm like, I'm going to spend the next two and a half hours just studying and nothing else and I'm going to knock this out. What usually happens is that two hour study session is really 15 minutes of studying and then an hour and 45 minutes of being on the internet and watching YouTube videos and things like that, right? It's always what procrastination does. So if you feel like procrastination has a, has a you know, a, a tight iron grip on your life right now, like I sometimes feel like it does, try the Pomodoro technique. It's very simple. Set a time limit on your phone. I recommend 20 minutes, but if you're, if you're really struggling with this procrastination right now, you can try 15 minutes or 10 minutes or even five minutes if you really feel it's necessary. Then, you know, do it, five minutes. Do five minutes and then five minute break. Five minutes and five minute break. Even that is better than what you were probably doing before. It was better than what I was doing before, which was nothing. 
So even if you say for an hour, you're just doing five minutes, five minutes, five minutes every time. It doesn't seem like a lot, but you accomplish more in an hour than you would in three, four, five hours, what you were doing previously, right? So simple technique I found, one to share with you guys. Set the time limit, focus, and then give yourself a break. And keep at it until you finish whatever's in front of you, all right? Hope it helps, guys. Catch you in the next video.